And so here on the west coast of the United States, the windstorm, the rainstorm, is about to begin. You may already be able to hear the whipping back and forth of the tarps. And ironically, uh, these tarps just went up in the last couple of days. thought I'd give myself some additional cover from the rain, um, at least while I'm parked where I'm parked. The tarps do need some adjustment. So uh, it looks like this is going to be a really intense storm for Northern California and Central Oregon. And while um, Central California, rather, and while the Oregon area, in particular Portland, is used to getting a lot of rain this time of year, um, you know, a little goes a long way before there's flooding and um, other situations. So there's uh, talks of widespread power outages tonight, uh, as the heavy winds will be likely affecting transformers and uh, other things involving the power grid. So going to be interesting. A couple things I picked up, just in general. Uh, I know that I need to get some cleaner for this particular micro camper. And so, you know, even though I'm not very wealthy and I'm limited on funds, certain things uh, I absolutely needed to get recently. So this is one of them. Pick this up for about $3. And obviously I'm going to use the natural cleaner because I'm going to be spraying the area that I'm actually breathing and hanging out in on a regular basis. And for the most part, the floor of this uh, micro home is absolutely filthy unless you clean on a regular basis. And lately I've been trying to uh, keep things cleaner. A couple of uh, paper towels to go with that. I went to the Goodwill today in search of something that, of course, I also got myself some toothpaste. And uh, let's just say this should have been done a lot sooner. But uh, we'll go to that fact. This is a single burner that I recently um, purchased at a particular store. And uh, I did look for this or something like this at the thrift store uh, multiple times over the course of the last month. And I actually got in the car and went down to a Goodwill in search of something like this. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to find it at the Goodwill. So here we are unboxing this Living Solutions. That's the brand, single burner. And while I'm at a location where uh, I can actually plug in, I'm going to be using the single burner to make myself some breakfast. As the temperatures get cooler, I should be able to keep things like eggs and meats and other things without, you know, having to uh, worry about spoiling. So this is the general size. And it says it's about 1,100 watts. So I'm not going to be using this with my inverter. Uh, but this is something that I will use. And it's affordable at $15. And so I'm glad to say that I now have a, uh, a hot pad. And even though I did try to buy this used, at the Goodwill, at the thrift store, um, I ended up buying it new. And so that's the knob on the other side. And so another thing that I'm keeping my eye open for at the thrift store, but again, I may just have to buy it new, is another five-gallon BPA-free water container. And that is something that I uh, still need to add to my arsenal. There is a health food store close to where I'm at. And so, you know, that's a good place to get filtered water, reverse osmosis filter. Uh, I think that's far superior than drinking out of the tap because of the uh, the quality of the pipes. I think is definitely in question, and that includes in some parts of the Portland area. Anyways, that's all for now. Again, we are getting ready for a storm to hit the Pacific Northwest, as well as Central California and Northern California. I myself am uh, parked in a stationary position. Uh, I am um, staying somewhere, uh, at least on the edge of the property, but it is a journey in a side street so neighbors can see me. It's not exactly hidden. Uh, and I'm noticing that one of the neighbors was checking me out. And it always seems like the, um, the wife of a family seems to be the most concerned when there's a homeless man around. At least that's been my experience. You know, they, they seem so concerned for the, uh, the safety of their children, yet the real threats I feel to the, uh, to the lives of their children that are real world actually taking place or for the most part considered conspiracy theories in the eyes of most people and instead people are afraid of the people that maybe they should befriend. So the uh, the behind the scenes reality of uh, the lifestyle that I'm living and you know the thoughts that may be going through the minds of other people that are seeing uh, a hobo that's uh, tented up, that's uh, set up shop in their neighborhood, uh, that reality I'm still continuing to live, feeling like I'm in hiding, 
uh, walking quickly from the trailer to my truck so I don't get seen and deal with the humiliation. Uh, it would be far better if I was um, um, somewhere where I felt that I was a part of the community, but that may be not something that it, it I know I've been looking for that for some time, and I'm just really, really grateful that at least I have what I have. And that is a place where I'm able to rest, at least at the moment, without going from place to place to place to place. And uh, if there were other places in Portland where I could park my trailer, that would be great, too, although there's nothing wrong with where I'm at right now. It's, it's really nice to be able to be somewhere parked as a storm comes in and uh, know that I've got, you know, some power ability to run some lights, internet, and so I have the ability to make videos for you and talk to you instead of walk the streets and um, facing the elements in that regard or hanging out in a, in, a, in a mall or something ridiculous like that, dealing with the, uh, you know, the program masses. That is not a comfortable thing to go through. So I'm grateful for what I've got at the moment, even if the reality is still the same of me walking quickly to my truck and not wanting to feel like I'm scaring someone because I'm clearly living in a uh, um, living module on wheels, and I know how people feel about the homeless. All right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.